Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjalayamal Mahalingam Engineering College, Kovil Manni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture in the subject Thermodynamics in Tamil. This is lecture number 3.2 in the chapter 3, Second Law of Thermodynamics, part 2. In the lecture, la, we are going to discuss the Kelvin Planck statement, class A statement of Second Law of Thermodynamics. Refrigerator heat pump, working of the refrigerator and the heat pump. The learning outcome to the lecture, at the end of the lecture, the student will be able to state second law of thermodynamics, distinguish between heat engine, refrigerator and the heat pump. Second law of thermodynamics. Now, our last lecture, la heat engine, heat engine, that is heat supply, Q1 amount of heat supplied from the hot source at temperature T1 and the Q2 amount of heat rejected to the sink at the temperature T2 and the heat engine it is producing work done, net to work, the work produced by the heat engine. So, there is heat supply Q1, heat rejection Q2 and it is producing work. So, our heat engine work produced by or heat source kuda, heat sink kuda interact pannu. Heat source on the heat yadukunu, heat sink on the heat akudukunu. Ida on the heat engine odaya basic theory. The Kelvin Planck statement, second line as soldun kataka, it is impossible for a heat engine to produce network in a complete cycle if it exchanges heat only with the body at a single fixed temperature. Parend body rikhe. Source over body, sink over body, T1, T2, rendi temperature. So, rendi or heat engine could interact with the heat source on the rendi heat source, rendi may different temperature, rikuno, apada work produce. Aho. Ana, even gana solranga, adhe, vera mari solranga. It is impossible for a heat engine to produce net to work in a complete cycle if it exchanges heat only with the bodies at a single fixed temperature. Or body on the Single fixed temperature interact pannaka, work produce panna mudiyadu. Abdi chodanga. That that the Kelvin Planck statement. So you have to remember, you have to read, understand, and remember the Kelvin Planck statement. The next topic: perpetual motion machine of second kind, PMM two. Perpetual motion machine enna? Idu vande heat engine. It is producing work. By interacting heat, by taking heat with a single body Q1, there is no heat rejection. A heat engine will produce net to work in a complete cycle by exchanging heat with only one reservoir is called as perpetual motion machine of second kind. This is the perpetual motion machine of second kind. Or heat engine is it work produced, it is interacting with a single point, single heat source. There is no heat rejection. There is only heat supply and it is completely converted into work. There is no heat rejection. So, this is called as perpetual motion machine of second kind. It is possible. It is possible. Illa. It violates the Kelvin Planck statement of second law. So, PMM2 is impossible. So, P Kelvin Planck statement is what is heat engine work produced. It has to interact with two thermal reservoir, one is at a higher temperature, one is at a lower temperature. Apada on the or heat engine work produced from Mudio Abdulan. So perpetual motion machine, it is violating the Kelvin Planck statement, so it is not possible. Next class A statement of second law. So there are two statements of second law of thermodynamics. One is Kelvin Planck statement, another one is class A statement. It is impossible to construct a device which operating in a cycle will produce no effect other than transfer of heat from cooler body to a hotter body. So, it is impossible, it is impossible to construct a device which transfer heat from lower temperature body, cooler body to a hotter body without any effect, without any effect. It is possible to construct a device which is operating in a cycle will produce some effect by 
with will, will produce some effect with with some effect it will transfer heat from a cooler body to a hotter body uh, without any effort heat is cannot be transferred from cooler body to hotter body nu solranga without any effect we cannot transfer heat from a cooler body to a hotter body nu classic statement of second law solludu with some effect it is possible to transfer heat from a cooler body to hotter body with some effect so without the effect with some effect so classic statement says that it is impossible to construct a device which operating in a cycle will produce no effect other than transfer of heat from a cooler body to a hotter body so in the statement the basics for the refrigerator and the air conditioner refrigerator air conditioner enna pannudhu refrigerator enna pannudhu veetla household refrigerator it is transferring heat from a cooler body to a hotter body which is cooler body inside the refrigerator it is cool lower temperature outside the atmosphere it is a higher temperature refrigerator enna pannudhu ulla refrigerator ullrey the heat er extract panni atmosphere la kudukudhu adha vandu application of classic statement of second law so we take the refrigerator so refrigerator is a device which is operating in a cycle maintain your body at a temperature lower than the temperature of the surrounding so atmosphere it is a temperature t1 this is the body which is maintained at a temperature t2 so t1 is greater than t2 so this is the refrigerator so we have four devices first compressor condenser expander and evaporator so compressor evaporator outlet vandu compressor ku podu the compressor la vandu vapor vandu compress aagudhu the compressed vapor pressurize pannittu enna pandranga it is going to the condenser where it is condensed by removing the heat energy the heat is given to the atmosphere it is being condensed and the condenser the liquid is expanded in the expanded here in the expander then the liquid with lower pressure it goes to the evaporator so here it is absorbing the heat energy so there are four devices a simple thermodynamics perspective la we have a refrigerator where we are supplying work electric work electric energy supplied into the refrigerator it is taking heat from the reservoir at a temperature t2 q2 amount of heat energy and it is rejecting heat to a temperature reservoir at temperature t1 q1 amount of heat energy so refrigerator is removing heat q2 amount of heat energy and supplying q1 amount of heat energy by work input there is some work input so idu da vandu refrigerator idu vandu atmosphere A higher temperature is atmosphere lower temperature is the refrigerator ipo in the device ku coefficient of performance desired effect divided by the work input so what is desired effect removing heat energy cop of the refrigerator equal to q2 divided by w so w equal to q2 minus q1 so from the first law of thermodynamics net to work transfer equal to net to heat transfer so cop of the refrigerator equal to q2 divided by q1 minus q2 next device heat pump so heat pump is so similar type of operation taking heat from a source heat from a reservoir at temperature t2 and the heat is supplied to a reservoir at temperature t1 so this is at higher temperature t1 is higher temperature t2 is the lower temperature so heat pump is a device operating in a cycle maintain your body at a temperature higher than the temperature of the surrounding so cold countries la vande heat pump is very important cold countries vande surrounding temperature will be very low but inside temperature we have to maintain higher temperature for room room ku la temperature vande higher temperature irukono whereas surrounding temperature vande atmosphere temperature vande lower temperature la irukum so lower temperature body la inda heat la eduthu higher temperature body ki heat supply pannanum adha vande heat pump so here again we require the work so here the coefficient of performance the formula is the same desired effect divided by the work input but what is the desired effect here supplying q1 so supplying q1 to the reservoir at temperature t1 is the desired effect cop of the heat pump equal to q1 by w which is q1 by q1 minus q2 so the there are two cop cop of the heat pump and cop of the refrigerator so we take cop of the heat pump q1 by w equal to q1 by q1 minus q2 so heat pump cop of the heat pump left hand side numerator la i am subtracting q2 and adding q2 so q1 minus q2 plus q2 divided by q1 minus q2 
now this becomes q1 minus q2 divided by q1 minus q2 plus q2 by q1 minus q2 so the first part is 1 the second part is cop of the refrigerator so cop of the heat pump is equal to 1 plus cop of the refrigerator so this you have to remember this relation you have to remember and all the equations you have to remember now we have few quiz, quiz questions from the topic we what we observed first quiz question the perpetual motion machine of second kind is impossible because it follows Clausius statement of second law it violates Kelvin Planck statement of second law it violates Clausius Clausius statement of second law it follows the Kelvin Planck statement of second law so the correct answer is it violates Kelvin Planck statement of second law of thermodynamics next question it is from a gate question paper consider a refrigerator and a heat pump working on the reversed Carnot cycle between the same temperature limit which of the following is correct cop of the refrigerator equal to cop of the heat pump cop of the refrigerator equal to cop of the heat pump plus one cop of the refrigerator is equal to cop of the heat pump minus one cop of the refrigerator equal to inverse of cop of the heat pump in a correct answer a country you know one good answer option c cop of the refrigerator is equal to cop of the heat pump minus one you are correct next question engineering service examination which of the following device com complies with the classiest statement of second law of thermodynamics a closed cycle gas turbine internal combustion engine steam power plant domestic refrigerator in the device on the classiest statement of thermodynamics classiest statement of second law of thermodynamics based upon work the correct answer is domestic refrigerator domestic refrigerator is working on classiest statement of second law of thermodynamics so we stop here so thank you for watching please post your comments on the comments box ninge enude number ku whatsapp pannala ungal subject la doubt irundhaaka thermodynamics la doubt irundhaaka enude number ku whatsapp pannala i will answer to your question immediately thank you we'll meet again in another video lecture in second law of thermodynamics until then bye